called Garrett Machine, who treat, he teaches in Krav Maga, and that's the only thing he thinks works. And I train a lot of mixed martial arts people, worked with Coleman, I've represented Helson Gracie, who by the way says he hopes he never is on the ground. I mean, when you have a master fighter on the ground say, I hope I'm never on the ground, that's a pretty amazing statement. So over the years I developed a drill, and it's almost, it encapsulates, Nick, where everything people are doing today in some way, but it's the other side of the universe. Because I find that if you're dealing with a really top athlete, they don't work the way most people do. So I figure if I can deal with the top athlete, I can pretty much deal with anybody else underneath that, that, you know, that skill level. So the drill will be the opposite of what we've done so far, but it'll eventually get you to exactly what we've done so far. And that is it's kind of what, what I would call, Nick, uh, a hard randori with soft ending. And it's, it's a sacrifice and a journey. The sacrifice is you've got to let yourself know you've gotten hit or touched or grabbed. Then you've got to explore how do you escape. Because if you watch, and I study videos, and by the way, I, I do a lot of neuroscience. We all think we're better than we really are. <laughs> and it's a, it's a true survival skill. Everything we, how many times you say, you know, I'm really a better driver than that person. <laughs> or, uh, you know, I don't eat so sloppy like they do. I mean, everything we think we're better. And when we're tested, it's every, it comes out remarkably well. Now, 40, 50 years ago, people used to think that, psychologists used to think that we all thought we were so insecure that we didn't think that way, but it's not true at all. So what I am a big believer in is I video a lot of things. Because how many times have you said to somebody, you're doing this, and they go, no, I'm not. Okay. You don't, we cannot see ourselves and perceive ourselves at all the way we really are. You're going to see me completely different than I see myself when I look in the mirror. So as soon as you say, hey, you did this, you did that, and they go, no, not really, or they don't get it, or they don't assimilate that statement. And then you show them the video of it, and they go, oh, shit, man, my balance is terrible. You know, then they start seeing, yeah, their heels hitting. Oh, they see they're turning somebody like this, their arms bent. So, <clears throat> but that's going to happen, right? We all know, we're all, we just heard it, we're all going to do stuff that we tell people not to do. And under stress, as we all know, we have about a one-tenth of a second to respond, and usually it's not a good response. And everything's chaos. And, you know, when I train with this, uh, what I learned training with Garrett Machine, and you're welcome to YouTube this guy, because I train with him in pistol and combat, anti-terrorist combat pistol and rifle. Everything is for shit. Everything is bad. Your gun jams. You fall down. I'll give you a good example of how stupid I am. I've taken thousands of falls for 35 years doing this. He puts me in gear. You got, I've got the, the guns, I've got the patches, I've got all this weight. And you're supposed to run out, turn around. He says, target rear, turn around. And then you gotta run up and shoot and kill a bad guy. Now I've taken, I've never been hurt in a fall. The only time I got hurt was one time when somebody did a judo fall and took out my knee. Because my leg got trapped in the mat. Never been hurt. So here I am, Mr. Tough Guy. I run out there, you know, target rear. I turn around. I had crappy gym shoes. I got all this weight I'm not used to carrying. I turn around and I felt my ankle went out and I went straight down. And, and I broke three ribs. I couldn't take a roll fall. I couldn't even think of taking a roll fall. That is combat. That is a fight. That's when everything falls apart. That's when nothing goes the way you plan, right? And so how do you deal with it? So, this drill, I don't know who's been good okay around here that can help me. Uh, somebody, okay. So, yeah. so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to assume, and I know you are a good player. So he's going to take, just grab me and hold my arm, whatever you want to do. Now what I want him to do is actually be a really good player, but not walk. He's going to shuffle. He's going to do things like a good athlete might do in a mixed martial art. You know how they're out there shuffling and doing stuff. They're not walking in harmony with us. They're at the, the opposite. So what he'll do is just start. I want him to be off sync with me. I do not want to be in sync with him because, you know, when you get attacked, you're not in sync usually with, you don't usually get a chance to start jumping in and being in beautiful harmony right away. As you I know, 
from the groundwork down. So I'm going to let him take three or four steps, and he's in command. He's strong, and he's pushing me. I'm like, oh, shit. And now, I, now, by the way, do you really think you know if you're doing up and down, if your hip's in harmony, if you're stepping here and there? No way. You're still trying to calculate, especially if you had a drink, or you just date, or you're tired. You're still trying to calculate what the hell's going on. You're not sitting there going, oh, I'm going up and I'm going down. You don't have time. You're going, oh, man, this guy's attacked. Now, again, this is worst case scenario. But isn't that what we train for? So he's pushing around, pulling around. Now, here's what I mean by sacrifice. Hold, hold this arm. He can have my arm. I've got to give it to him. This is where you come back to the basics. He's pushing around this net. Now, I don't know if he's, I don't know what foot he's stepping with. I don't have time. I'm going, oh, man. Now, at this stage, you, you must let these three, four, five steps happen. Let that happen, because that's reality. You don't have the chance, as soon as he comes in his steps, to toss him and throw him around. You don't have that time. You, that's, that's a nice scenario, but this is where he's got you, and you're just jumping around. Oh, man. Now, after you do this, now you just give it up and start playing with pretty much what you're saying. Get in the inner circle, move those hips, let them have whatever, and start playing around with your body weight. And eventually you'll get a release. So he's pushing around, I'm playing around. And all I did, now it's fast mo, but let's, we'll do it slow mo. He's pushing, he's got me, I go, oh man, I gotta let him have it, and I start pivoting. Look at that. Now I don't know what he's gonna do, he might pull back up. So I start pivoting, I get in the inside circle, and then next thing you know, you got a release of some kind. I don't know what the Japanese name is for it. I don't care. <laughs> so the idea is sacrifice, then take a journey. He's pushing, he's fighting. Man, oh, okay, what you doing? See, now, that's the, now look at what I just did. I instantly went here. If he had taken a fall, can you do it? Yes, sir. I've just got him right here. Look at this. My arm's straight. I didn't plan on it, but it happened to be there. My hand went here. I take that step. I've got that throw. I didn't plan it. Does that make sense to you guys? So partner up, have fun, watch out for hitting people. I hope that makes sense. If anybody has any questions, let me know. Thanks. Thanks.